Oh, today we'll be dealing with the AKI and uh, next slide please. Uh, oh, what is AKI? Basically, acute kidney injury, earlier it was called as acute renal failure and the term has been dropped actually. So it's a basically a clinical syndrome with means uh, which is manifested in the terms of decline in the GFR and it has got implication on the health actually. Like if the creatinine rises by 0.3 and there is no problem as such the 0.3 increment in the creatinine will not be so dangerous or so uh, deleterious for the patient's health but that doesn't fit with the basically means uh, too much of the problem act, problems actually but suppose the creatinine rises in the terms of 1.2 milligram per kg so it's a reduced gfr means, uh, means, uh, means as compared to the baseline gfr with means retention of the uremic toxin. Next slide, please. So earlier the term was ARF and because the failure was word failure was the So nowadays the uh, ARF term, the requirement of the dialysis is there. AKI when the dialysis required on dialysis or renal transplantation is not required, that is, means it's a simple AKI. But when it is uh, the requirement of the hemodialysis is there, it is called as ARF. And uh, different uh, means organizations are there like acute kidney injury network, ACTIN is there, then KDGO kidney disease initiative, uh, guidelines organization is there, the one which we follow actually, KDGO guidelines. So they have got different types of the definition, but the, their, the levels of the uh, rise in the creatine, they are similar actually. Next slide, please. That I will be telling in the next slide. Yes, ha. again, failure when there is severe impairment, uh, impairment of the kidney function and requirement of the renal replacement therapy. And or it has to be given. Next one. Next slide. Hi. So now uh, depends upon the urine output. But actually, the definition of the AKI is when the increment of the creatinine is more than 0.3 milligram per deciliter. Suppose the creatinine was 0.6, now the creatinine is 0.9. It is AKI. When the increment in the creatinine level is by 50%. Of the one milligram creatinine was there, now it is 1.5. Or when the urine output is less than 0.5 ml per kg per uh, minute, uh, per hour for uh, consecutive six hours. So these are the three kinds, three different criteria for defining it. And this is kind of the mild, the severe, not the severe one, they are the mildest one, stage one or mild one AKI. When the urine output, and it's not always the urine output will be dropping. Sometimes the urine output will be good enough, but again, but the creatinine level will be rising continuously. Even that kind of the AKI may be there. That is called non oliguric AKI. So oliguria is defined in the nephrology with the urine output less than 400 ml in 24 hours, but in the medicine it is 500 ml, I think. And, uh, actually the same 400 or 500 when n urea is defined when the urine output less than uh, 100 ml and it's actually it's uh, wrongly given here the getting over people they follow 50 ml in 24 hours azotemia means accumulation of the uremic toxin causing some azotemic problem like the urea and creatine getting accumulated in the brain causing encephalopathy and uremic symptoms yeah again it's like same mental status changes loss of appetite tremor nausea vomiting neuropathy, they will be the manifestation, the final manifestation of the AKI. Next slide, please. So generally, the serum creatinine is used as a marker for detection of any type of the kidney. Basically, why we are worried about detecting the AKI? Why we are means uh, more curious, like a patient with a chest pain comes. Why we are more worried about the Heart. Why we are not more worried about the lungs? Why we are more not worried about the musculoskeletal system? Because the heart is the most important organ located in the trunk. If 
something is there some blockage is there blockage is there and that is that blockage is not reversed in a proper time in the golden hours so the heart damage damage to the cardiac muscle will be permanent even if the patient gets saved he will not be having a normal life his ejection friction will be low throughout the life that is called dcmp cardiomyopathy will be there though the patient will survive but with a that means it will be a debile kind of the life he will be having a good means morbidity he will not be enjoying his life means in the proper way the same way aki why we are in hurry to detect that suppose a patient with a creatinine 4.0 comes to me in the opd he does not have a symptom but a patient in the icu is there with a creatinine 2.0 i am asking to dialyze the patient with a creatinine 2.0 but not a patient with a 4.0 creatinine in the opd why it's like that it's the renal hemodynamics the patient with a ckd chronic kidney disease he has means developed this kidney problem over a period of time it means it's a incremental decrement means dheere 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 karke kidney damage hua incremental decrement in the gfr and that is called ckd not affecting the patient's renal hemodynamics or hemodynamics or vitals of the patient as such but the patient who's creatinine yes day before yesterday or yesterday it was 0.9 and now i see the creatinine 2.0 his parameters his vitals his body system is shattered actually ekdam jhatka laga hai usko and he will be requiring means a good approach means he will be requiring a continuous means a vigilance he will be requiring a continuous treatment so now means uh, means could you follow the difference between aki the patient with the creatinine 2.0 is worrisome is a matter of means i have to take care of him but the patient with the creatinine 4.0 sometimes in the opd can you, you can see some patient wandering here and there from one opd to another opd with a creatinine of 12.0 for the first time his creatinine comes 12.0 but he he has never done his creatinine in life but he was not taking some anti hypertensive he was taking some pain killer because of that some kidney problem happened and that has been basically uh, the kidney problem has been increasing in very in slow speed but the patient with the aki basically the kidney function deteriorates ekdam in the very rapid manner and that is why his uh, system in his bp maybe his pulse bp cardiac function neurological function all are basically shaken and he needs a immediate addressing